All right. Good evening, Council. What I want to address here tonight are the lies and reckless actions over just the past 15 days of Councilman Chavez, Kelly, and Robinson. There appears to be a coordinated effort to destroy those of us that attempt to hold these three men accountable. The past two weeks have seen these men attack community members and put them at unwarranted risk. Their targets appear to be almost exclusively women. He called those of us critical of him bad apples, white noise, and sour on the inside. Visit the Cedar Park City Council meeting for the first time on July 11th and was both shocked and offended by the insertion of religion into the proceedings. Beginning with the words, in God we trust, over the council room door, followed by an invocation that called on the names of Jesus and the devil. It made me wonder if I had inadvertently stepped into some kind of exorcism rather than a government proceeding. Anyone walking in at that moment could have mistaken they were in a church rather than attending a government function. We are a secular nation, and the Constitution clearly states that there must be a separation of church and state. People of all faiths or no faith should be welcome to participate in their local government without being involuntarily subjected to others' religious beliefs. One of the One of the things that I admire most about Cedar Park is its diversity. The Islamic Center is just a few miles down the road from City Hall. However, such blatant disregard for large segments of our city by interjecting one religion into government function is not only a constitutional violation, but also... In a recent court case in Maryland, the city council had to pay a settlement of $125,000 for failing to obey a court order to discontinue non-inclusive Christian prayers at their council meetings. One council member stated that continuing the practice was a major gamble of taxpayer dollars. If you want to be an inclusive governing body and represent all of Cedar Park residents, as well as good stewards of our taxpayer dollars, you will keep your religion and all govern you will keep your religion out of all government functions. to call back to order an open meeting the uh, regularly scheduled meeting of the Cedar Park City Council please note the roll and for tonight's uh, invocation we have Councilor Redeffi okay so a little non-conventional as I like to do um, a group of frogs were hopping around on one fine afternoon while two of them suddenly fell into a pit when the other frogs at the top saw how deep the pit was they told the two frogs that it would be impossible for them to come out of it for a while, both the frogs ignored the comments and tried with all their might to jump out of the pit. The other frogs kept telling them that their attempts are of no good and they were as good as dead. Finally, one of the frogs took heed 
looked with the frogs outside the pit were seeing and gave up. It fell deeper down the pit and met his death. The other frog continued his attempt to jump out of the pit. Once again, the other frogs yelled at it to stop the pain and accept his death. He tried even harder and finally jumped out of the pit. Every other frog was amazed when he got out of the pit. Did you not hear us? asked one of the frogs. One of the other frogs explained that the frog who won over his battle with death was actually deaf. The deaf frog smiled and said, thank you, my friends. I couldn't have come out of that pit without you encouraging and cheering me all the time while I was in it. Words are a very powerful weapon. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Words have the potential to produce positive or negative consequences. Words have catalyzed and stirred the nations into revolution and triumph. And with a single word, the nations have succumbed to nothing. However, one good, edifying word brings joy and hope to those who need it most. So be careful of what you speak. Speak life to those who cross your path. And I, I do have a, a prayer. Okay. You, the one, from whom on different paths all of us have come, to whom on different paths all of us are going, 